Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've posted because I have lost motivation, not gonna lie. This video is because I'm a nosy blogger and I love seeing what people make. I'm really, really nosy and I think everyone is infinitely more skilled than me and I sometimes get a little bit down on myself that everyone's sewing skills seem to be better than mine. So I'm more coordinated. I'm here to show you the bits I have out for Christmas um, this has been a long journey to get to this stage, but I'm here to show you that um, chaos does reign free here. If you've not guessed that already, I mean, you've possibly not watched my videos, um, you've probably seen some of my recommendation videos, and I do them in the vain hope that it will inspire me to actually sew more. And this does not work. So, we will begin with what you would have seen in one of my recent videos, which is the, the sad looking reef. <laughs> Um, it's not outside because in case it rains, but you can sort of see it from outside. A bit sad looking, I know. So that is in the hallway and that is pretty much the only thing that is in the hallway for Christmas because it's mostly in the kitchen and the living room. This is hard. So I don't decorate upstairs because I'm lazy and I don't see the point. So we are now in my living room. So there is sort of an order I want to show you some of these things because they do sort of show a progress of my years of sewing. So first off, we have this sad looking thing, which on the back is just interfacing because I just didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to make a Christmas tree skirt, not realizing how small it would come out. So that is one of the things. This is bunting that I bought from a shop because I'm lazy, but it is still handmade just not handmade by me and then there is my dog okay so these are some stockings they're pretty terribly done they're quite old maybe from like oh, 2018 my husband always says he likes everything he likes everything that i make him um i don't believe him i think he lies um and now that stocking's fell down so this is some more bunting and this is made on the big scissor cutty thing um, because I was bored and I thought I was wanting like maybe a rustic look to my house um, but then I was like I do not want a rustic look I've never settled on a theme up here we have more bunting so eventually what I want to do is I bet every single bean covered in bunting because I just think that would be so much fun so this is the back of the bunting it should be the other way around um, but I ain't going back up there because it was a bit of a pain to stick up. This is the front of the bunting and it's the little the snowman themed, the snowman. Um, if you're in the UK, it's a very old popular film. An animated film that we have here with music and stuff. So I'll go here and this is my advent chain, which um, honestly, I'm sort of running out of space to put things. So these are, I made all these on my embroidery machine, all in the hoop. I've not used it this year because we've gone with more traditional advent calendars, but yeah, I do like it and I quite like it on the. And here we have the Christmas tree skirt, which honestly, I forgot about until I started trying to film this video. So this is to show you that um, you don't have to make overly complicated Christmas skirts. And I know you see a lot of videos about these beautiful Christmas tree skirts, and I'm sure one day I'll make one, but all I did for this was get some felt, cut it in a big circle. I sewed this on with a machine. Oh no, I didn't. I hand sewed this, bloody hell. I must have been feeling odd. But all of these I bought on Etsy and so I didn't have to cut them out. All I did was iron them on like proper lazy with my applique. And then it's got the, the whole thing in the back. The owls are on here because my son will want them after nursery. Um, but yeah, just a really, really simple and super, super cheap. These were not expensive at all. Um, so this is to inspire you that something super easy can look good and like no one's going to judge you for it because it still looks cool. It's not the best, it's not the worst. So yeah, if you're feeling uninspired, let my simpleness <laughs> inspire you somewhat. <laughs> no, we're not doing very well, are we? So then these these are the beautiful stockings i made last year that i am in love with so i 
honestly, I had only put up mine, my child and the dogs, because my husband's at work. So I was like, well, why does he need one? Because he's not here. But then I was like, oh, I should really tell, tell our son that dad's stocking is up, even though he's away. So but these, I got these off Amazon. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Because I can't, they're so big, I can't hang them on the fireplace. I was really struggling to know what to do with them. Because this was these, I only put these up for show for the video, to be honest. And just put the fire on. Like, they'll all, they'll just overheat and burn. But yeah, I adore these stockers. I think they're absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy with the way they turned out. This one's got uh, wadding in. Um, yeah, it's got wadding in. There's nearly nothing more to that sentence. And then we have some crochet ones. I did have another one there somewhere, but I don't know where it's gone. Please don't judge me how messy my house is. And then we have the oddness that is our kitchen tables. Now, there's only two of us home this year, so I probably will get rid of two of these. So yeah, I will probably let my son choose what colours he wants this year. Um, I did have a proper table, more fabric underneath here, like a beige one, to set it all off, but I don't know what I've done with fabric. So, this is your sign if you don't have reusable crackers, to make them in velvet because it's so freaking luxurious. I, I love the velvet set and I got four just in case our family expands in the future. Um, th and I just love them. I think they're absolutely amazing. I do have a hell of a lot of other Christmas crackers and hats that I've had over the years. This you've seen in the video, I, I've made this. I think if it was in green and red and stuff, it could make quite a nice centerpiece or in velvet, oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. This I did to show what it looks like if you put some embroidery on it. But as you can see, all my placemats do not match because where's the fun in that, right? Where is the fun in that? This I made and ate like a couple of made last year, I think. Um, but then it's got like oil and fat on it from like the meat and stuff. So it's a little bit annoying. Um, but again, I think it's be better like in a plastic material, a PU material, to make it more wiped down. And then the placemats, I, we keep using them, so we have to keep putting them in the wash. And then this is the green velvet, which is absolutely stunning. So then also, there's a little pot holder, and that's made all from scrap fabric. But again, matching kind of a theme. So we're in like my ideal world, right? This would all match and be beautifully beautifully coordinated. I do have some more the black and white fabric, right? So maybe one day, maybe one day I'll put a oh, matching centerpiece. So that is, that is it, right? That is my bits and pieces. I don't have a ton. I do have some fabric gift bags, I think, maybe somewhere upstairs, but I probably won't use them I, like, mm, no, I think I want to wrap presents this year because my son's old enough to be undo the wrapping and take it all off. So I'm excited for him to like open the presents instead of having them in like gift bags. And we only have one child, so there's no chance we get mixed up. So, but when they are older, I will make big sacks, I think, um, for them to have their stuff in. But we don't, we generally don't open shop for Christmas anyway. But that is, that is my little, little sneak peek into some of the handmade things that we have in our house. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I think I will be signing off the rest of the year now. I did have a load of videos planned, but in all honesty, I just don't have the motivation right now or the inclination, quite frankly. Um, I am close to being able to monetize my videos and, and that is one of my goals, but I don't think I'm in any rush to try and hit all my goals at once. Um, I am trying to um, calm my mind a little bit and focus more on my family and YouTube will take a back burner to that because, well, because I said so basically. But I hope you all have an excellent Christmas and I hope this video makes you feel slightly better if you don't have a beautifully coordinated beige home because neither do I and I love our little Christmas. So happy Christmas, have a good new year and I hope we'll be back in January with a boom and a bang. Cheerio.